All right, guys, I'm back from a brief break. It is now time to continue more Hogwarts Legacy. Again, I urge you, if you are enjoying the playthrough, if you could click that like button on the video and leave some comments, let me know what you think. The engagement is key for YouTube. People seeing that will basically check out the playthrough, uh, and I appreciate if you could do that for me. Thank you. Let's uh, continue on to our Charms class, which I believe is where we're headed. Defense against the Dark Arts Tower, flu flame location now discovered. But we're not doing the uh, Dark Arts yet. We're going to be doing the Charms class, correct? Rebellion. Oh, we've got a new one of these. Eddie Cleaver. Lumos. Okay. What is that? Uh, some kind of like a walkway, a dark walkway. Now, it's always supposed to be in the same building, correct? Oh, is it those dancing ghosts? Aren't the, those ghosts in the movies, the dancers? I think they were. The dancing ghosts. Do, do, do. Scooby -dee -ba -dee -boo -ba. You guys are good dancers. How nice. How nice. Actually, I don't know if they were in the movie or not. I don't. They don't look familiar. Um. What the heck? So I'm looking for... Oh, is this it? I don't know. Man, this is a big tower, huh? This tower is quite large. Lumos. Revelio. I heard a ding. Well, I don't think it did anything, right? Huh. I'm hearing the ding, but I think it's the, it is the thing above me. Yeah, it is. So this isn't it. Whoa, look at this statue over here. Hold on. That's a cool statue. Whoa, my controller vibrated. Oh, because it's a chest. I think you need a spell to open that. And I don't have it. Another one of these. So where do I find what I need for this puzzle? Wait, what was that? Did you see that? Whoa. Whoa, we got it. A field guide page. Painting of Illy, 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 How the hell do you say Illy, Illy, Or is it Illy, 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 I can't say it. Illilililis. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Illilililis, who famously saved his entire village from an army of dementors and the dark wizard Rakzidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. That is very exciting. Derek says he watched a Leviosa scene. Oh, I don't remember that. He said it has something to do with the feather exploding. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, no. Level 2 lock? Oh, it's the first lock I found in the game. So I can't do that. Revelio. Revelio. Yo, Revelio. What the deal, yo? Alright, we got a new flu flame. Yo, Revelio. What the deal, yo? We gotta find the puzzle and smell it, yo. Alright, I don't know. Whoa, 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 did you see that? Fist bump? I'll fist bump. Lumos. He wouldn't fist bump. He was dancing. Did you see the armor was dancing? There's no Quidditch in the game. It's already been or re revealed there's no Quidditch for some odd reason. Rebellio. Rebellio. I don't know. I'm hearing dings and I'm hearing sounds, but I'm not finding the solution to the puzzle. We did find that right there. I feel like if you just keep running around and doing this, you'll eventually find it anyway. Oh, here's a different one. Lumos. That looks like a picture, uh, a, uh, a painting of a centaur. What the hell is going on in this hallway? Please do be mindful where you walk, won't you? Only if you step... 
I guess that's dangerous there. Is this painting of Centaur right here? It is. Revelio. Lumos. Now wait a minute. This is the painting of the Centaur. I'm staring at it. Revelio. But it's not revealing what I need for the puzzle, so how do I do this? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. I found a chest I can open, a contemporary school cloak. Apparently it's better than what I have. How does this work? Huh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do here because this is definitely the painting that was depicted in the puzzle. But for some reason, the item to solve the puzzle doesn't show Protego. up even though I did this puzzle. It's exactly what I did before. Protego. Yeah, I don't know. Lumos. I'm not sure what else I should do. This is a locked door. Uh... Revelio. Wait a minute, could there be more than one? Oh, there is more than one! Lumos. Here we go. There was more than one painting of a centaur. Wait, did it go away? What happened? Oh, here we go. We gotta hold it. We have to hold the Lumiosa or whatever. Go around these stinky, stinky stench. Oh dear, do you mind the tiles? Some of them can be made. There we go. We solved one here. New field guy page, right? So that was for there. That didn't solve the puzzle in here that I was trying to do, though. Was there a reward for doing that one? Oh, I got a tip, by the way. I will shut that out in a second. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Uh. Oh, you need eight field guide pages to get the next reward. I see. All right, so. I received a $5 tip. Any particular reason you got the Xbox version of the PS5? I mean, no particular reason. Uh, I wasn't aware of any differences between the versions. Um, apparently, there may be some extra content on PS5. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, but I no one told me that. And... Uh, you know, I feel like they're going to perform identically on the consoles. Almost every game has. So I just got it on the console that I'm currently playing everything on. You know, I like the controller. I like surround sound on the Xbox. I like the way you can resume games. I like a lot of features of the Xbox. So why not just get it on the console that I've been actively playing and enjoying on, right? So that's really why. There's no other real particular reason. Um, okay. Anyway, let's take a look at this puzzle again. Because I feel like... Maybe if I investigate it again, I'll find the the spot more specifically. It was over here. The problem is this tower is very large. And so it's going to make it a lot harder to figure this out. So here we go. Lumos. Yeah, see, so there's... It's an arch, and there's a painting right next to the arch with two columns. See that? Where is that arch? And there's a bright, like a bright window right next to it. definitely not here. This is too high up. Okay, if I go further down... It's definitely not here. Not this way. I haven't been over here yet, but I don't think it's this way. Nope. Whoa, this is something completely different. Revelio. Some kind of a clock for later, I guess. Lumos. So all the way down, perhaps? I don't know. I'm not really seeing it. Huh. And it has to be in this room, correct? It can't be anywhere else. It has to be in the room you're in. Like, if I leave this door, then that's definitely not it. It's got to be in here. Rebellion. That's the puzzle above me making that sound. Huh. Where is this, like, dark arch and a window next to it? I just don't see that in here. The 
this side? No, it's not here. That's a dead end regardless. That we already spun. That's just the staircase further down. That's a nice Rip painting right there. I don't know what it's supposed to be though. Oh. Uh, have some tea. Fancy some tea. That's where our class is. Okay. I have no clue where this is supposed to be because I don't see it in this tower. I really don't. I am not seeing this spot in the tower anywhere. Did anyone anyone see it at all? I didn't see it. I don't know. I don't see any. Oh wait, did I? I wasn't here yet. Oh, I didn't go here yet. Oh, kitty! Hello. Oh, hello. Interact with the kitty. Oh, you can pet the kitty. That's cute. You can give it a nice rub down. A nice kitty peering rub down. Very nice. Okay. What settings did I do in the beginning? I honestly don't even know. So when it says something about camera movement or something, I don't I don't really know. Rebellion. Hmm. You've done that. I don't know, man. There it is again. Dude, there's seriously nothing looks like that in this tower. Right? So, we have two things going on. Number one, we got 300 likes on today's stream. And with that level of engagement, I will do a third celebratory bubble blow for you guys. Thank you for that. Okay. I appreciate that very much. There we go. And also, I owe you guys the gold vest, which you have voted for. So, let me get the gold vest on. I guess then we'll just do charm school because... Uh, I'm not seeing where the hell this is. I'm looking all around for this, and I don't see it anywhere. So uh, thank you for that, and uh, let me get the let me get the gold vest for you guys too. Guts is enjoying the game. He says it definitely looks promising. Very good. I'm glad that you feel that way. All right, let me get the gold vest. Gold vest won by a big margin. Yes. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see that anywhere. I seriously, where where is that? The lobby with the students? Well, that's a different building. And to, to my knowledge, I guess what's supposed to be is that wherever you see this, the answer is in the same building you're in. <clears throat> so if we leave this tower, it shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It, it shouldn't be there. Well, I don't see anything that looks like that at all. Like if I go out here, that's it, you left the tower, so it shouldn't count. That shouldn't be it. Lumos. It should it should literally be in here somewhere. Alexandro says when I get a new hat, I should order a wizard robe for the tier three tip skull. Well I'm definitely getting a Slytherin hat now, because I'm in Slytherin. So I'm getting a Slytherin hat for sure. That's a lock. As for a robe, I don't think I'm gonna spend a, a million dollars on this. I'm just saying. We got a few frame rate drops here. I don't, know, I don't even see a window that looks like the window in the picture. Like I'm looking everywhere, and I don't even see a window that looks like that. Okay, let's get rid of this idiot who's posting some kind of a fucking cooking recipe in the chat. A dunce. All right. How nice to see Another you, flu flames. Friend. Yeah, I don't know. Like, th those windows kind of look like it, but it's definitely not. I don't know. I... I don't see a win oh, I don't see a window that looks like that anywhere. And that's kind of the thing that's throwing me off, is that without that window, there's no way that any of these could be the solutions. Now I'm all the way down, and I still don't see a window that looks like that. 
This looks nothing. I give up. I guess I'll maybe look for it later. I, I was going to go to the story. <clears throat> Let's just do the story. I'm confused. I don't see it. Walking in circles like an idiot. Do, 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 do. We're going to charms class. I need to learn how to be how to be charming. Is that's what it is, right? Charms class. Learn how to be charming. <laughs> Etiquette class. That's the Cerberus. Don't they fight that at some point? I think they do. What's this? Wait a minute. I haven't been over here yet. Wait a minute. Okay. This is different. We haven't been over here yet. Revelio. Ha! Huh. Lumos. Well, we did it. I wasn't intentional. I was actually trying to go to class, but we found it. So there you go. Can I change everything to like greener text and lighting for Slytherin eventually? Yes, eventually. I could. Wait a minute, what happened? No! Is that the guy? I should cheer for the boys. Says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight. It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> what a complete dick. So we basically went the wrong way, is what we did. Revelio. that another lock all right so we went the wrong way we got the moth and then we went the wrong way from the moth and lost it okay lumos so what i need to do is leave this area right we don't go up we go down And then we go across, and then we go up, right? Here it is. There we go. Okay, we solved it. That was tricky. These are puzzles that when you find when you find the area that's hidden, then you can solve the puzzle. And the more you solve, you get experience points, and then you you, you level up. There's that kitty again. All right, so let's head back to where we were, right? To go to Charms class. Ah. It was this way. Whose door is this? It's the bathroom. Wait a minute. Is this the girl's bathroom? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I had no idea. <laughs> is this the guy? Wait. Is this the guy's bathroom? I can't tell. They look exactly the same. I don't know what's the bathroom and what's not. I literally don't know which is the men's and which is the women's. Hold on. I gotta take a stinker. I don't know, man. I'm confused. They look the same to me. Alright. Anyway. Where's Dead Charms class? Upstairs? We gotta go upstairs further. Okay. 
The real JK Rowling is very sensitive about a bathroom topic. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, let's not talk about that. All right, let's go to Charms class. Here we go. Here. Behind you. Not side. Oh, nice. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Uh, no cheating. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. So, let's see. Steady your wand and guide along the symbol's path. Okay. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. Mm. I see a lot of potential, but remember. Potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. We just got here two seconds ago. We're already going on a field trip. All right. Pokemon Scarlet needed these graphics, says Rashad. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if Pokemon Scarlet had any kind of modern graphics to speak of. I know. The graphics in the game, I, so far, I'm really liking them. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Where are they getting these resources from exactly? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> so what are we doing? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like Akio, those, if you will. But that's it. Happens to the best of us. Shit. Excellent control there. Very good. There we go. That's really good, right? Two out of three. Not bad. Very good. Points to Slytherin. 
But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? It's a competition. Yes, sir. All right. So who goes first, me? No, she goes first. She got green. All right. I like them apples. Blue. Splendid. Uh, there we go. Wait a minute. She knocks my ball out. Does it not count anymore? Aha. Quite impressive. Let us see this. Derek says that she is uh, in Gryffindor House. That is how it's done. Akio. So we're tied. That's it. We tied. <laughs> interesting. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I'm happy. Wait, we have to do it again? Oh, whoa! <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> this is different. I'll say. He upped the difficulty. Enough, chatter, focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Well, considering it was a tie first round, yeah. Oh, she got owned by the box. The box screwed her over. Oh, her ball fell off, but it still counted. You are not making this easy for me. Wait, no, her ball fell off and it didn't count. Oh, I see. If those boxes push your ball off, they your ball doesn't count anymore. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. That's a twist to the rules. Stay. Stay. Oh, no. Oh. Shit. Wow. Done. Okay, hold on. Akio. We tied again. We seriously tied again. Very good. We did. We got 80 again. What the heck? That's a double tie. Very good, both of you. Well done. So there's no winner. There's no winner. There has to be a tiebreaker, no? I guess not. There's no tiebreaker? There's no tiebreaker. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Huh. A tied game. Yeah. It turns out we were evenly matched. That was actually pretty cool. It took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That was actually pretty well done having a tie with someone who you just met but you're kind of friendly with is kind of a neat way to introduce introduce that magic and the character i like that that's good to hear it's a lot to take in all at once <laughs> to put it light oh it's obvious she's african derek i remember how just I from her talk her speech arrived. i transferred here from wagadu just before wagadu. the fourth year my mother received an offer to teach divination here before I knew it, we had left Uganda and they lived in Uganda. Oh, wow. at a new school in a new country. Uh, is the magic the same there? 
This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Really? Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses so wand. So you, you can formally use magic without a wand? A wand, that's interesting. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Huh. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> it's all about the drama. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. I didn't you care about the size of her country. Waiting. I hate geography. Until next time. <laughs> I totally hate geography. <clears throat> okay. Course, you can use Aki on humans. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing to be precise, Beth. Anything else in here? Revelio. No. Stuff outside the room, but nothing in the room. Oh, what the I can talk to this kid? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A bit mad. How nice. Geek General says that's this that is the base of sorcery. You're your own power source. The wand is a catalyst. It helps you, but you don't actually need one. That's interesting. I get a feeling I'm going to learn a lot about the Wizarding World playing this game because I barely know anything. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Were you asleep and drooling on the desk? She was, wasn't she? She just wiped her lips. Ew. <laughs> she fell asleep. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Mm -hmm. And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Distracted. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing oh, for you. special assignment. Extra credits? Yes. All right. So there you go. We have a new main quest complete, which means we have a challenge that we've earned, right? So what do we earn? We got the uh, legendary gloves. Oh, next will be the keep. Now, how do we equip gear? Here it is, gear. So I can equip gold-rimmed spectacles. How do they look? Ugh. No, I like mine. I'm going to stick with those. And then I have a new robe. So here's the robe I'm wearing now. Here's the new robe. That's not bad. Is that slithering on the arm? All right. It actually says that it has a bonus to it. Did you see that? That it has like a level 2 bonus. Off off offensive bonus. Excuse me. And uh, an outfit. Currently I'm wearing this vest uniform. Okay, but I don't have anything else. Alright. Neckwear. Probably don't have anything, right? The natural beige scarf. So I just got those new gloves. Here we go. Black leather gloves. Alright. I just earned those. Didn't I? No headwear? No, no hats. Oh, I do have a hat. A dark flat cap? Should I wear the dark flat cap? Why not? Here we go. Now we're talking. Crazy Rotations did a super chat. He says, thank you again for this. It looks like it might be worth $109 in Australia. Maybe. Well, I hope you're well. Thank you, Crazy Rotations. Indeed I am. And uh, so far, so good. I like the game. You know, keep in mind, we're very early in. The, the, the early stages, but I am actually enjoying this. So, let's continue. <clears throat> Uwagadu is a is from Uwagadugu, a city in Burkina Faso in Africa. Wagu, Wagadugu is the pronunciation. Wagadugu, well, Wagadu you. Alright. Wait a minute, now it says, now it says I have gloves that I didn't have. Hold on a second, did you see that? Did it seriously just say I have new gloves? No. It said I had legendary gloves, but where are they? 
It just said I have legendary gloves. You saw that, right? Uh, I don't get it. It just claimed I got them, but I don't have them. Whatever. Fun fact, Harry Potter's house system was based on a fancy high school for privileges in London like Eton. All the prime ministers attended that like our Ivy League, says people person. Interesting. By the way, where are my gloves? I put on gloves, they're not on. What is going on? I equipped gloves. Look. What is going on? Okay, now I have them. I don't know what's happening in this game. It's being very weird. Who's this? Samantha Dale? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. That's kind of you to say. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident. Then again, he's an idiot. Well, better see to my charms homework. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Gorilla Grip, thank you. He says, hope you have fun with the game. Thank you, Gorilla Grip. And thanks for repeating that message several thousand times in the chat. I really appreciate that spam. Okay. Um, what is going on in here? What is this stinky cloud? I can't wait until I'm a sixth year. Then I won't have to waste my time with herbology anymore. Another kitty. I must pet this kitty. I unlocked the appearance of other gloves, not the actual glove. What does that even mean? <laughs> meow, meow. What does that even mean? You unlocked an appearance, but not the glove. What? <laughs> what? When my There's a different kitty. Hold on. I'm busy. Marvelous. London is much older than the USA. Their traditions of fancy boarding schools are the basis of modern Western educational systems, says people person. Interesting. Samantha Dale is in Ravenclaw, says Derek. What's this? Reveal. What the f- What is that? Eh? Uh... Is this nonsense? <laughs> What's it? Uh, uh, per okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this supposed to be math? So if this is three and this is zero, this is two, and then that means that's five. <clears throat> and then if this is a four, <clears throat> and this is a one, because unicorn means one, then this would be a 7 to make 12? Yeah, but what does that mean? Roll? What? What is this? I'm supposed to know what this is? Huh? <laughs> sure, I'm totally gonna figure this one out on my own. What is that even supposed to be? Look at that! Is that a real creature? No, these are these must be mythical creatures. I don't know what I'm even looking at. Alright, I'm gonna give up on this one for now. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh wait. Wait now wait a minute. Hold on a second. So Two. Something should be should be two. See, that should be a two. What creature would be two? Would this be two? Because has two things coming off its face. Would that be two? This would be seven. What has seven legs? Three. That's three. One, two. That's five. One, that's four. Is that seven? What the fuck? 
I feel like... This has got to be two. But what would what would be a two? And is this seven? I can't even tell. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's more than seven. That's one. That's three. That's five. That's four. And that's that's like seventeen or something. Oh my god, what am I doing? It was nine, it was a nine. Oh my god. I have no clue. How do you figure this out? Wait a minute. Oh one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So if this is four, this is two, that's six. This has to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one would be, that would be two, so that would be unicorn. There is no unicorn. Shit! Because I was thinking they, this is zero, maybe zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait, this is zero. So this is one. Okay. So two should be this creature. That's two. And if this is one, then this has to be seven. So seven would be that creature. No way! I solved this crazy puzzle. Holy shit. What do we got in here? Brown leather fingerless gloves. I can't believe I solved it. And a collection updated. I found a hidden crest. That's it? Okay. Well, that was tricky. Side quests are now available. Where? Where do you see side quests? I don't see a side quest, do you? All I see is a main quest. I don't know. I don't know. Can't equip this yet. Why not? You need to be level 4 to equip the brown leather fingerless gloves. I'm too low level. Alright. I don't know. I said a side quest was available. Man, I, I don't know. I don't see one. Level 1 lock. We don't have any lock picking skills, so we can't get in there yet. Dude, that was interesting. That, I, I didn't know if I could do it, and then I solved it. Revelio. Wow, this is going to be an interesting game. Okay. Handy resource indeed. Your field guide. I think there's a chest there. I skipped by accident, by the way. Side quests are black flags, says Dab Hands. Thank you for telling me, Dab Hands. Oh, oh, I heard a ding. Anything up here? Look at that! Look at that view! Oh man, that's cool. Revelio. Oh, what's this? A field guide page hidden here. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. Tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact the arts had when he if he succeeded. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it is going to be a hell of a playthrough. It seems like there's a lot of content to do, huh? Certainly. Derek's main quests are yellow. Side quests are gray. Assignments are white. Revelio. Oh, it's one of the ghosts. He's walking and chilling with his student. Huh. 
chilling with the students. Chilling with the homies. I wonder if there's an achievement if you, uh, we're in the astronomy tower. I wonder if there's an achievement for hitting every globe. Revelio. Oh, oh, here we go. We got a new puzzle. We got a chest, first of all. Can I open this? Yep. Some currency, I guess. Oh, no! He's back! He's back! Peeves. Derek, I'll see you later. See you tonight. Sounds good. Peeves. He's an asshole. Lumos. Okay, what do we got here? What appears to be a telescope looking out into the air. So we have to find that. Where would that be? Probably upstairs. This must be it, no? Revelio. No, maybe higher up, because this looks like a different one. Look at this nice this nice bird. Oh, it's a beautiful owl. Hello. What a beautiful creature. All right, perhaps higher up. I agree. Peeves does look like the Mad Hatter from like, uh, like Alice in Wonderland. I wonder what's up with that. Here it is. Lumos. We'll come back here, but let's do this puzzle first. <clears throat> do 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 we are almost out of time for this stream, this premiere stream. I'm having a lot of fun with this game right now. <laughs> Alright. Another field guide page. We're getting there. You need eight to get a big reward. What else is up here? Anything? Is this where Snape killed Dumbledore? Maybe. Did he knock him off the edge up here? Give him a toss. Remember he threw him off the edge like a sack of potatoes? <laughs> Remember that classic scene? When he murdered the headmaster brutally by tossing him off with maximum force? Can you look through here? No, why can't I look through here? Oh, there's the Quidditch grounds. Oh, cool. There's the Quidditch grounds. Too bad you can't use them in the game, but there they are. They are on campus. I wonder if you actually do anything at Quidditch or if it's just there for like scenery, right? Hmm. Interesting. It's pretty cool. You can see the grounds. Wait, what was that? What the hell was that? Did you see that? What happened? I missed it. Rebellio. Oh, there's a field guide page just sitting there. Astronomy telescope. The telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for revealing the moon or viewing the moon. I uh, that was random as shit. I had no idea that was there. Okay. Alright, this is where we came from. Could we go down here? Ah. More currency. Revelio. Spin the globe. Peeves was not in the Harry Potter movies. I was going to say I don't think I remembered him. I remembered a lot of ghosts, but not Peeves. Thoughts so far? I, I, I give it two thumbs up so far. I mean, I don't know if the the... The wonderment of this world will keep up, but right now, like, I'm just enjoying exploring the, the grounds. It's pretty fun. And, uh, wait a minute. The owl changed. Wait, what? Revelio. The owl changed its appearance. Now it's a snow owl. Before it was, like, a, a, a reddish owl. That's interesting. Anyway, no, I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm having a good time with it. I mean, we're not even into the meat of the game yet. We're just doing wandering around Hogwarts and doing a few random, you know, classes. And that enough is pretty fun. So can you imagine when we actually get into like the meat of the game, right? Pretty good. The graphics are very good too for uh for console. I like the little touches, having having the ghosts walk around, having the, the all the pictures move. You know, very accurate to the Rebellion. to the lore of the universe. I like that a lot. Off on another adventure, are we? Who? Who are you? Who said that? 
Oh, it's the fast travel. Talk to me. What is this? Pick up. My dear Satyavati, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded they had, in fact, been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems an Irish astronomer and British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer. All muggles, mind you, means non-magic users for those who are <clears throat> need the layman's terms. <clears throat> to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as a means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel I had to con continue using the pseudonym for my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I'm so looking forward to our trip later in the year to Jantar Mantar. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister. Hope you are well with love. Sushrita. So it sounds like it, it's a female scholar. Rebellion. Female, uh, you know, like a witch. But she had to pretend like she was male to be accepted in society. And that's very sad. Hopefully things have changed for her. Level 1 lock. Can't open that. Here we have a level 2 dunce staring at a wall. <laughs> Spin the glow. <clears throat> what do you call a magical owl? Whoo! Dini. Thank you very much for that cheesy pun. What are you up to now? Mostly real vibes. <laughs> Whoo! Dini. Rebellion. This is pretty cool, man. I'm having a good time with this. All right. So we did the optional stuff there. I guess we can head back now, right? Back to the main area. There they are. There's the ghost chilling. How you doing? What was this guy's name? The guy with the chains? What was his name? Marley? Jacob Marley. That's Jacob, <laughs> Jacob Marley's ghost is haunting Hogwarts. That's actually pretty creepy. Oh, taking, taking a, a nice vacation, a holiday from haunting Scrooge. If you had to haunt your children now. <laughs> Just wait for my musical number later. Revelio. All right, so we're done with this. I don't have a lock. Yep, level one lock. Can't get in there. I think there's a chest over here I missed. I don't find potions there. Ooh, I got a healing potion. Wigan Weld Potion. Very nice. Andrew Davis says each house has its own custom ghost. Interesting. Who's the ghost of Slytherin? S uh, Snake Man. Snake Man from He-Man is the ghost of Slytherin. No, uh, Orochimaru from Naruto is the ghost of uh, Slytherin. <laughs> that would be interesting. Here, yeah, we have a chest below us. Wait, what's that up there? Oh, another level one lock? Yep. Can't do it. Okay. A lot of level one locks. We don't have them yet. Well, I guess we should head towards our other uh, story objective, correct? And, uh... We are out of time for this first stream, but I am playing it again later today for those who like this stream and want to see me get further in because we barely scratched the surface, right? Uh, lots more coming tonight. Two more hours of gameplay later tonight. Oh, is that in the women's bathroom? There's a chest hidden in the women's bathroom. Sorry, ladies. A duelist attire was hidden in the women's bathroom. Is there anything in here? Oh my god, a geyser of water out of the toilet. That's what I get for raiding the women's bathroom. Oh no, what's this? Who's brewing potions in the bathroom? Naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to do that. Beautification potion. I shan't tell. Certainly suits you. Oh, the mirror just talked to me. The mirror just saw me in the women's bathroom. I better get the hell out of here before I get in trouble. What about this new uh, robe that I just found? <laughs> this game has so many little touches that I'm actually really enjoying. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, yes. Something new. Oh, cool. It's an increase. Defensive three. All right. You couldn't really tell the difference. Like, if you take a look. But it's your base outfit. See how his, his feet are changing? It's really hard to tell the difference, but I get a defense boost of three. Right? Cool. All right. Revelio. We got the fast travel. That I don't know if you this is the men's bathroom. I don't even know. There's a chest. Oh, you can't open that one. That's a puzzle, right? Mm 
Why do some of the bathrooms ex Wait a minute, I get it. I get it. It's the Hogwarts bidet. That's what it is. Oh, this is this is definitely the boys' bathroom. There's urinals. And there's a nice turd in one of them. Just like at my elementary school. I'm not making that up. Someone did that. Someone pooped in the urinal. Uh, it's a bidet. It's the it's the Hogwarts bidet. But what happens is after COVID, they also had to tell uh, a, a, a huge toilet paper shortage. So instead now they use bidets. They explode up your ass. Beautiful. Hello. Rebellio. Who are you? This guy looks pretty like important. Like he has his own section. So you think he's like important, right? Hmm. <laughs> Dark arts class? Wait, is this where we're supposed to go? No. Where's this? This is a different classroom. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Professor Fig, as if my schedule isn't congested enough, the ministry charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists they will need an escort. Profusely, Professor Weasley for details. So that was Black telling Fig that he had to escort me to the school. That's exactly what that was. Is this Fig's office? Oh. It is Fig's office. There's Fig. All right. This is a good place to save and, and stop. And we will resume tonight. Okay. Yeah, cool. Let's save up. Thank you all for being a great audience for this very first stream of Hogwarts Legacy. So far, I am very, very much enjoying the game. I'm having a good time. Um, and I hope that you guys are too. I'm actually excited for more later tonight. I actually can't wait to jump in and get further in and, and advance the story. Because we're still in the introductory part. But just exploring the school is very, very fun. The graphics are good. It seems very true to what we've learned from the Harry Potter movies, that universe, the Wizarding World. So, so far, so good. And again, thank you all. Great stream. Obviously, insane amounts of support. I hope that you all enjoyed. And I got to get a Slytherin hat. I do. I have to get a Slytherin hat for the rest of this playthrough. All right, guys. Thank you so much. See you next time. And of course, for those watching on YouTube, remember, liking the video, leaving comments, perhaps a super thanks or a tip. All greatly appreciated. It will help this play throughout a lot on YouTube. If you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching. Until next time.